Pam, it's Mrs. Hassan, Mrs. Greco. We miss you terribly, but we are so happy we're able to come to you through your computer. So look at all these great pictures we've did of you. We chose pictures that made us smile, either because you made you smiling so big and happy at us, or maybe you made a silly face, or you were being super creative. But every time we looked at these pictures, it made us smile. So since you couldn't be here in person with us, we've got you right here. We miss you guys so much. We hope you're able to enjoy your family. And we are so excited that we are able to do this with our computers so we can have activities and have you guys enjoy everything. And we can't wait till we get to see you guys again. We miss you so much. How are you guys? So we were wondering what you've been up to. So we want you to send us um, a Facebook, on our Facebook page, your mom or dad, or an email. Let us know what you've been up to and we can share it with everybody. We can tell you what we've been up to. I've been babysitting my grandson, Adrian. We've been having so much fun playing together. We've been playing a lot of games like shoots and ladders and race to the treasure. And we've been doing a lot of cooking too. Yes. Well, a lot of cooking. Yeah. <laughs> How about you guys? I bet you've been making all kinds of yummy things too. We'd love to hear about like cookies or brownies, special treats. Send us pictures. Yeah, and I've been doing lots of walks, lots of walks with my dog. I saw Declan the other day with his family riding their bike. It was really nice. I was driving, they were on their bikes. So that was fun. Haven't got my bike out yet, though. Hasn't been uh, too warm for Mrs. Greco. But um, what else? Sitting on my front porch a little bit and uh, watching TV, doing some activities and some projects in my house. But I'm eager to get back and hopefully do things with you guys. Um, so I have to tell you, Mrs. Greco, this is the quietest they've ever been at Circle Time. So quiet. You know why? I think it must be because it's Monday. And you guys are tired. You've been laying around all weekend. Probably stayed up late, even. So let's get up. Everyone stand up and let's Woo. do a little bit of movement. Are you ready? Okay, stretch your arms. Let me show you some of the movements because we're going to do a new song. It's about a pirate. Oh, so, you, so you need to be able to jump. <laughs> you need to be able to look. Yep. Point to yourself. Use your thumbs. Point to yourself. This is the tricky part now. You have to take your arm. You have to go this way. Try and cross your body this way. That way. Forward. Forward. Backward. And you got to take your hands over the deep blue sea. Are you ready? We're going to do it up to number four five today and i think some of my friends that were with me last year with mrs bell we sang this song when you guys were three so Whoa. maybe you'll have your memory will come back and it'll be really fun and you can teach your mom and dad and brothers and sisters at home this song yeah say mom dad get up we're gonna get on that pirate ship okay <laughs> are you ready when i was one i had some fun on the day i went to sea I jumped aboard the pirate ship and the captain said to me, you go this way, that way, forward, backward, over the deep blue sea. When I was two, I tied my shoe on the day I went to sea. I jumped aboard the pirate ship and the captain said to me, he said, go this way, that way, forward, backward, over the deep blue sea. What's after two? You're right. Mm -hmm. Three. When, when I was three. What should we do? Climbed a tree. tree. On the day I went to sea. I jumped aboard the pirate ship. And the captain said to me. He said this way. That way. Forward. Backward. Over the deep blue sea. Mm, when I was four. four. I shut the door on the day I went to sea. I jumped aboard the pirate ship and the captain said to me, Hello this way, that way, forward, backwards, over the deep blue sea. One more. What's next? Woo! Five! What rhymes with five? 
jumped aboard the pirate ship and the captain said to me go this way that way forward backwards over the deep blue sea Woo! Woo! got my body waking up yeah. my fingers All are right. tingling my shoulders Don't are you working feel good now? it feels so good to get up and move around yeah. so this is what we've got planned for you today mrs greco and i thought what are we missing most at school besides our friends, our toys, our snacks, the playground, the gym? It's your journal! Journals! <laughs> so we thought today you could make a journal at home. So if you want to make a journal alongside of us, just pause your computer for a minute. Go collect some paper and a stapler. Or if you don't have a stapler, you can just get a paper clip maybe or tape. And we're gonna make our own journal. All right, guys, I hope you're back. All right, so what we need is uh, have your paper. You can get big paper, you could do half of the size of the paper, whatever size you guys would like to make for your journal, because it's your own journal. But so I picked out my some white paper. I'm gonna count my papers and see how many I have. So if you have a bunch of papers in front of you, count yours. Ready? One, two, Oops, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So now I have nine pieces of paper. I'm gonna use a stapler. So I'm gonna put staples on the side, because remember, like our books, here's Addison's, it's on the side, and you can open it up nice and easily that way. So you can put as many staples you want, just like you do at the art center. I know you guys are so creative. That's that, or if you don't, we can use paper, uh, tape. We have regular tape, masking tape. And also another thing is if you have a hole puncher, put some hole punchers on the side and you could get some string or um, anything and tie it on the side and you can still open it. So now we need something in the front. What do you think we need to write? Let's write my journal and your name. Okay, now it's set and ready to write into, but we need something on the front. Just like our journals that we have at school, we want to set something up on front. So we want to write my journal and your name on the bottom. So when you guys come back to school, you can bring this and we can put it with your journal at school in it, and then you guys can take everything back home. So. Look over by Mrs. Hassan. She's going to give us the letters to write my journal. And of course, everybody knows how to spell their name, I think. <laughs> and you can do it and practice. And I know a lot of you know how to write these letters. But if you need some help, we're here to help you. Okay, so the first letter is M, M for my journal. So let's go up the mountain, down the mountain, up the mountain, down the mountain again. Nice big M. Okay, are we ready for the Y? That's how we spell my. So it's kind of, we're gonna make a little, kind of like a U and come down and make a little hook. My. And I know Ryan knows how to make a Y. He has a Y in his name. Ryan. My, okay, ready for journal? A lot of us know the J. Jameson, Jackson. Take the line, come down and make the hook. Next would be, oh, that's an easy one, just a circle. And next would be the U. So that's kind of a tricky one. You've got to come down, up, and then give it a little bit of a tail. You don't want to close it at the top like the O and leave it open. Okay, ready for the R? Make a straight line and then a little hook at the top. Mrs. Greco is doing it alongside of mm -hmm. us, too. She's writing my journal on her book. Next is the end. We're going to make a straight line down, and then a hook, and then come all the way down. Kind of like the R, except you're going to come all the way down. Okay, and the A, I think we all know, that's kind of the circle with the tail. And the last is our favorite, because it's the easiest. It's the L. 
J-I. Now you've written my journal. And underneath that, I like it. well, underneath it, I didn't use m too much space. I didn't leave myself, but you could then you could put your name. So I'm gonna put it. And you can decorate it if you want somehow, just like that. And now you have your papers and you can draw on them and you can start writing things that you would like to share with us. All right, and just have fun. I think that's gonna be really fun. And if you wanna put it on our Facebook, take a picture of it and when we can see it. All right, now we are gonna go over here and we're gonna read a story. This book is called, You're a Crab, a Moody Day Book. We thought we would try and figure out how you guys have been feeling, not being in school and being at home. So we're going to see <clears throat> what's going on. Jenny Whitehead is the author of this book. What does an author do? You're right. The author writes the words. Give yourselves a thumbs up if you knew that. Jenny Whitehead is also the illustrator. What does an illustrator do in a book? You're right, draws the pictures, thumbs up again. All right, let's find out about what happens when you're a crab. I feel really <laughs> mad and sad and when grumpy. You're a crabby? When you're a crab. Oh, Mrs. Greco. Wee! Some days you can be a friendly dolphin with a squeaky laugh. Some days you can be a funny clownfish that flips and does somersaults. Look at those silly clownfish. They even have glasses. Some days you can be a silly jellyfish that does a wiggle jiggle dance. Like Mrs. Greco and I did. And some days you can be a crab. Hey, not all crabs are crabby, you know. But when you feel mad like an eel that zaps at whatever it sees, or mean like a shark that wants to chomp on something squishy, like saltwater taffy. That's what the starfish is holding up. He says, eat the taffy, not me. Or frustrated like a turtle that snaps at his lunch, but misses. Then you are a crab, a hard shell, sand in your claws, crabby crab. Don't worry, sometimes I can be a crabby crab too. But not today. Today I'm a frog that goes kissy, kissy, kissy. I'm a minnow that wants to tickle your toes. I'm a puffer fish that will hold its breath and make silly faces at you. Yes, today I'm in a good mood, but when you're not, and you want everyone to leave you alone, Go ahead and be a stinky anchovy for a while. <laughs> yeah, Mrs. Greco does not like or anchovies. Or a mopey manatee. Or a squid with a long face. You are invited to Squid's pity party. No gifts, no cake, and no laughing aloud. Just sadness. <laughs> oh. And when you're hungry, tired, and irritable, and you feel like blowing your top, be a whale. Wow, look at all those things in the whale's mouth. Even Pinocchio. Oh, and a big sandwich. And pizza. You can eat, yawn, and burp with one big gulp. Burp. Then I bet you'd feel better. But if you don't, how about I'll be a sea lion and you be a seahorse and we can play ball. Would you like to tap, tap, toss with your tail while I bump, bump, bat with my nose? Or I can be a sawfish and you can be a hammerhead shark and we could build something fun. Would you like to hammer, hammer, hammer while I saw, saw, saw? Look at that cute building. Oh, and look, they got a sailboat on top. Or I can be an octopus and you can be a sponge and then I would have eight arms to hug you, squeeze you, hug you, squeeze you, hug you and squeeze you, hug you and squeeze you. Maybe I'll go ahead and do that anyway. Oh, I wish I could hug you and squeeze you. But on really tough days, when you're not in the mood to play at all, you can be a hermit crab. 
hiding in his shell. And I can be a hermit crab. And we can sit in our shell side by side in the sand until you feel better. You can take as long as you need because I will be right here beside you. They're reading books together. By then, I'm sure your mood will change because moods do that. And soon enough, you will be my happy, funny, silly crab once again. The end. Now, Mrs. Greco wants to tell you something you can do fun in your journal today. Okay, so we thought that in your journals, you can write or draw us a picture on how you're feeling. Since we just heard about that crabby crab, how are you feeling having to stay home and not coming to school, not able to go out to the parks or go to all your activities? And maybe draw what we can, what you guys been doing in your house with your families. That's always been, that will be fun to look and uh, see on your journals. Um, so we also wanted to say a big happy, happy birthday, birthday to Emma. Emma. We missed her birthday on March 18th, right after St. Patty's Day. So we hope you had a great birthday. And when we hopefully will see everyone, we will celebrate your birthday. A little late, but it will be fun. Um, also, do you want to have a look outside for a second? Let's I forgot check to do the our weather. weather. <laughs> our weather. We're going to just, just so we don't have our weather chart to do. You obviously don't have it at home, but you can look and tell me, is it sunny out? Is it cloudy? Is it rainy? Is it snowy? Please no snow. I know. So when we get done here, look outside. You can tell us what kind of day it is and have a great day, guys. And you can add that to your picture, too, if you like, the weather. Yeah. Let us know so we can keep track and maybe add to our paper chain when we get back. Yes, we have lots to do when we come back. So it was great to spend the morning with you, boys and girls, and we'll see you again tomorrow with some new activities. See you later, have guys. Have a great day. Mwah.